Okay, I guess it's time for us to start. It's, it's five o'clock. Uh, this will be a lightened session, so we'll, we'll be three of us talking for about 15 minutes, and there will be time for Q&A session in the end of, of all the talks. Well, uh, hello, my name is uh, Alex Gopchenko, and uh, I'm the project manager, product manager, and dev development lead of PHP Storm product from JetBrains. Uh, first, a short disclaimer. Uh, not me, not many, uh, not anyone on my team, uh, or not anyone on my company is a, what you can call a real-world PHP developer. We do test PHP every version, every build, every kind of feature that is added to PHP, to PHP tools, frameworks, and all the stuff, but we do not use them in production. Uh, we uh, view them from point of integration. So our perspective is kind of specific, but uh, the whole point of uh, PHP Storm was to bring the level of tooling and uh, instrumentation available for Java developers, .NET developers that we have uh, back to PHP community, uh, which many of us come, came from in the, our youth ages. <laughs> uh, and uh, so far I can, say, I can say we have succeeded because uh, we have now hundreds of thousands of users. And uh, how many of us actually have actually uh, used PHP Storm? Okay, well, uh, this session uh, will be really quick and I will show some highlights that I think will be useful both to existing users and new users. Uh, some generic stuff, some Drupal stuff, and maybe some couple of advanced tricks. Okay, now, the first thing, if you just open, it's really easy to start in the PHP Storm, you just go to file, open folder, and start typing your code in. ID will try to be as smart as possible, suggest you something. But uh, it really pays to invest some time to uh, get to know your tooling better so you can actually build up your productivity to get to know what features are available so they become the building blocks and you can uh, uh, be faster, more productive, think less of uh, some uh, processes uh, that are required to but not, not, not uh, directly related to development itself. Uh, everybody knows the thing, uh, the boring thing called tip of the day, which uh, bothers everyone in every product on desktop <laughs> until now. But we have the something of opposite. The thing is called productivity guide. And uh, whatever have you uh, didn't use PHP Storm for at all or have it used for a day or for a week or for a month, I really suggest you to go to the help menu and open productivity guide and check out what it tells you. What features have you used, how much? And uh, in most importantly, what features haven't you used yet? I suggest you to try them at least once. So maybe you will find something in particular. All of us have different workflows, different requirements. Our minds work differently, and ID has uh, sets of uh, features which fits uh, different workflows. Uh, this my statistic is not really impressive because this is my debugger version. So I have time with only one hundred forty characters in in, in this pro in this copy of product. Uh, but if you open my if you look at, into my home environment, we work with Java code, this will be much more impressive. It's, it saved me minutes uh, of time, many minutes of time daily. And still there are lots of features I haven't never used yet. So this is a lot of learn for everybody. Uh, if you have, if you're already using PHP Storm or if you haven't used it yet, uh, sometimes you may feel lost because we have a hundred of options, a hundred of menu items, and uh, for, for example, this particular uh, uh, Drupal project has 5,000 files. Uh, what, how to or how to get around? The first thing uh, that is most important is also in head menu. It's find action. So you, if you don't uh, know how to uh, find something in this product, what, what is this shortcut on keyboard, where it is in the menus, so you're completely lost. But for example, you don't, you hate the line numbers, they irritate you completely, or you want them. Uh, you can quickly find the section, toggle it right here, or go to preferences and tweak it to your to liking. This works for any actions, it also works with synonyms. And next thing, then in settings you can have, have it the same. Uh, uh, the 
if you work with Drupal, the one setting you need to ensure is enabled is enabled Drupal integration. Right, uh, right now it, it will it is enabled and will need the Drupal installation path. It's really uh, the next thing: how to find anything uh, in around in your project anywhere. I particularly uh, don't uh, remember where my files are in which folders. I always use in the search. I, I search by file name typically or some symbol name, class name, uh, JavaScript variable, or anything like that. If you try to type this here, this action called search everywhere, you can, you can find it via find action or just type, press double shift. It would make it easy across all, pro all platforms. Right here, you can see both. Uh, Files, symbols, and actions, everything in the, in the product. Now, then you, now if you have some uh, files open already, if you, if you are working, uh, you may need to find where exactly they are in your file tree. And uh, uh, so you have uh, an action called select in which will help you to find your current file in any of the two windows. For example, you can quickly locate this file in Project View to do something around it, like this. Uh, while in any view, any tree, a search will also always help you. If you try something, type to something like JavaScript here, it will narrow your navigation possibilities to matching symbols, regardless of how many symbols are in view. And if from any of you with double escape, you can quickly jump back to the editor to continue typing your code. Now for something for Drupal. If I try to declare function in this module file, which uh, names uh, looks like Drupal hook, we will provide you with suitable hook names. And most importantly, we will provide you with help for these hook names. So you can uh, quickly look up what is need to be done uh, which parameters are provided and all of that. For, for the sake of demo, I'll just complete any of them. And you can notice there's a special symbol here. Uh, there is a concept in our product called, uh, go, go, called uh, go to declaration and find usages. For example, we consider this as hook implementation, like kind of object oriented concept. So you could go to, go to its parent declaration. Uh, there is two, two options. You can go to its actual formal declaration with help and everything, and you can find where it's actually involved by, by Drupal framework. And it's, it's worked for all hooks and everything. And while you are there, you are coding new hook, you can go to the declaration and try to navigate back and look all of different implementations across all the models, how other models are implementing this particular hook. So you can... Um, Check it out. Uh, you maybe copy paste some code to to serve as boilerplate for your own code to get your start started quickly. And well, next thing uh, while you're working in PHP Storm, I uh, always uh, use uh, any, some kind of source control. For example, for this project, I just download zip file and. Uh, uh, called git init on this folder, so all of contents that I got from the web uh, immediately is under git source control. And right now, if I, I change something, you can see the change markers right on the uh, gutter here. So you can try to, ch if I change something here, for example, formatting or anything, you can see the changes and everything like that. And you can uh, Navigate to to this file in uh, in your changes view, so you can uh, review ch your, your your changes in a proper diff view. You can commit your changes and do all of that. These all tools integrated directly in the environment. You don't need to switch context at all. Uh, uh, the same level of integration is available for all source control systems for most important tools. For example, I consider one, one of my most important tools nowadays a uh, virtual machine environment like yeah, Drupal, uh, oh, sorry, Vagrant, and something like that. Um, when also there is a kind of lots of noise in this in, in this window, you can see some markers right here. Now this uh, is what we call uh, code analyzers. Uh, uh, 
you can run a standalone tool, for example, like Code Sniffer, to have your code checked against coding standards. But right now, here, you can have this on the fly directly in the editor. So if you see one of the, these yellow markers, this ID suggests there is something wrong, is wrong here. And I can tell you if you use actually open any real code base from, from the internet, like Drupal sources or, I don't know, Magento or Zen framework sources, Symfony sources, and run this whole set of inspection from framework, you will find hundreds of real errors not fixed in the latest version right now, yet. <laughs> uh, so the, you should always there is a rule in, my, in, in our company, if I commit anything to my source control, I check that this marker is green. And a uh, particular set of rules which is uh, uh, working for your project, for your coding style, is completely tweakable. You can go and configure all kinds of checks you wanted, and all uh, run in real, both in real time and at the moment of, of you, then you're trying to commit or push into source control. So you can have, have two levels of checks. Then, Quick things about editor. For my, I'm personally, is kind of, I am kind of person that never remembers where stuff is, but I uh, remember names of stuff. Uh, for, or, for, for example, this file is quite long, uh, but I never use a scroller. I even, or, or I'm jumping, I'm jumping around. I always use a structure pop-up. It looks like this, and I quickly can narrow down my selection to any particular method and, and jump around. And also this, all these jumps are stored in kind of history, like variations, it's like in browser, so you can quickly jump back to where you were, to hooks, and jump forward any point. So, and also all, all that, what I have typed in, then erased, then typed in again, is stored in thing called a local history. It's much more than, it is much more than uh, your, you have in your commits. It stores all, all sets of changes between your commits. So you can go in any point of time and rescue uh, your code. If you was having uh, some kind of good solution, <laughs> like 10 minutes ago, now, right now you type, type it something and it stop at work, you can roll back. Well, these uh, are the highlights that I have for like right, right now. I can. I have like three minutes for Q and A right now, and uh, fortunately for us, we have a booth downstairs. So if any of us uh, wants uh, hands-on on something more specific, like X debug, which is always pain to configure, or database support, or some specific stuff, came to came to our booth. We gladly give you hands-on tutorial, personal, any time, any lens. Now questions. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so, question is, which uh, is the best way to learn shortcuts? I personally um, learn them gradually. Uh, for new things that I know that are there, uh, I use the find action. If you if you if you use it actually, uh, there is I don't know some expand selection. There is a sh shortcut, shortcut displayed right there. Uh, in the, in, if you go to productivity guide, uh, it also includes a selection for each feature, for each, each, of, each one of them. So basically shortcuts are displayed everywhere. And the third thing is if you want like a systematic approach, uh, like a table, there is a um, default key map preference, uh, which will open printable key map. And we have a plenty of them in our booth. Some Came came to us and we'll give gave some to you. Yep. Uh, I was going to address the question that was asked earlier. I think there is an extension called Key Promoter or something like yeah. that. If you look it up. There's yeah. An extension for PHP so that does exactly what you want. Okay. Uh, and if, if I could ask a question as well, what was the shortcut? And I know it's ironic. What was the shortcut for um, the pop-up menu for like within the file navigation? Yeah. The then the name the the keyword you should remember is structure. So this is the same thing uh, which is here, structure panel. And if you try to look it up, so on my current key map, it's control F12, but it's really different. Yeah. 
But I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking shortcuts. I'm talking the names and keywords because you need to remember something which is scalable between Windows and Linux, for example. Right, and this is triple shift, right? Double shift. Uh, this is, you should you, you can use double shift. It's like right here. Next question. One minute. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, welcome to our booth downstairs. It's number three or something on the corner, visible directly from the doors. Thanks.